With the recession, many Suncoast families have fallen on hard economic times and have had to rely on food pantries in order to survive. But the last few months have left many food bank shelves bare, making it a challenge to feed everyone who needs it. SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham has more on where local food banks go from here. Food banks in both Sarasota and Manatee counties have experienced extreme drop-offs in their supplies, now resulting in rationing to outside food agencies and spending thousands of dollars just to feed the community. Demands are high and the supply is low. Local food banks have been working with nearly empty shelves for the last couple of months due in part to the diminished deliveries from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In order to stock these shelves, All Face Food Bank has had to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars of their own money. And with that drying up, it's become a, a responsibility of ours to purchase food to make up for the USDA food that's not coming in. We didn't plan on this. We didn't know this was going to happen. And it has really made the, the situation very desperate. The troubles are limited to just Sarasota. Manatee Food Bank has experienced a similar drop off in their supply. They started off this year with 250,000 pounds of food and now they are down to just 25,000, one of the lowest levels ever. And so we've had to cut back to um, distributing to our agencies every other month. And then even at that time, we have to ration what we're able to give so that we can spread it out as much as possible. All faiths say they appreciate any donation that comes their way, but protein items like peanut butter and meat are in higher demands. This is one of the lowest points we have ever had in terms of food donations and we're hearing it from the community, we're hearing it from agencies and families. The demand is increasing, the food is just simply not there. Both the Manatee Food Bank and All Faiths Food Bank say they can't recall the last time they have seen the supply this low. For more information, you can visit foodbankofmanatee.org or allfaithsfoodbank.org. I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News.